This small town in central Oregon has proved to be a window on the past. Some of the region's most important fossil evidence has been unearthed beneath its streets. Bones like these help to paint a picture of the living creatures they belong to. This was the largest grazer in the Northwest, standing four meters at the shoulder, the Colombian mammoth, and its biggest enemy, the predatory scimitar-toothed cat. As the great melt began, grazers and meat-eaters alike were faced with massive change. Vast areas of land were transformed, gradually reviving after hundreds of thousands of years buried under the ice. The glaciers we still see today in the Northwest are mere remnants of immense ice blankets that once dominated North America. Their sheer scale is still impressive. Some are several miles wide, hundreds of meters deep. But now the glaciers are in retreat, as they have been for over 13,000 years. Remarkably, some of the icebergs set free by the melt consist of water frozen tens of thousands of years ago. These floating fragments now provide a temporary resting place for harbor seals and their pups. Imagine these glaciers at their peak. It's thought they covered half the continent in layers almost two miles deep.